Important concept here, pain does not equal damage. Pain is not directly related to damage. So you can encounter a lot of pain and not have any sprains, tears, severs in any of your body, right? That doesn't mean it's never related to damage. You can injure something. So I could injure my hamstring, right? And then I rehab it, I take the time to build it back. It's healed, structurally great, but I can still experience pain. So the longer pain persists, the less related it is to that damage that initially caused it. So that's one thing. And just in general, pain may not be an indicative of any type of damage in your body. And it's tough sometimes to wrap our mind around it because we feel pain and we're on high alert. It's danger, right? But pain also doesn't necessarily mean danger. It doesn't necessarily mean you're doing something that is not good for you. I see athletes all the time that are afraid of basic movements or of training in certain ways because of their experience with pain in those positions, like a squat, like a lunge, like a deadlift. But then they go out on the field and they're sprinting and jumping and changing direction at full speed. Those are massive forces on the body, but doing a body weight squat causes pain. So if we think logically, we can pull the fear out of that, take the pain and the fear away from each other, right? Because if I'm jumping, and I've experienced this, if I'm jumping max height and landing, so much force is going through my joints, way more than if I do a slow body weight squat. So I can think logically, I experienced some pain here, but I'm not making it worse, and I'm not causing damage to my body. And just pulling that fear out and, and letting it go a little bit can help with our experience of pain. And it doesn't mean the pain is not real. Your pain is real. What you're experiencing is real. But again, if we can remember that it's not related to damage, it's not necessarily related to danger, it can really help. And this is especially with chronic pain. If you have an acute injury or a serious injury and you're dealing with pain, yes, you can think like, okay, uh, I want to be careful. Maybe there is some danger here. But if you experience chronic pain, if you experience pain, blah, if you experience pain with things that you know logically are not doing damage, then those are places we can push into a little bit more because there is evidence that your pain sensations may decrease with some extra exposure.